Hi John here, I've got an unboxing video. This should have arrived yesterday, um, but it didn't because I was at work, so I missed it again. So that was two days in a row I missed a parcel. It is a Royal Mail one from in the United Kingdom. And this is a trade box that I have done with Meg, not Mog. Um, I posted mine off yesterday afternoon after work. Um, I posted it. Um, there's two parcels though that have gone to Meg's. One I know has already made it there today, which was sent tracked. Another one because of the weight, I just sent it as. Um, standard because of the weight it would have cost a lot more for it to be tracked and that was just a bonus item that I'd kept to one side for a while for Meg waiting for the right time basically so we did that um, I'll go through the items that Meg has sent and I will then let you wait until Meg has put up her video so you can see what Meg's got but I will link it into this when the video is there um, I think because she's only received the one box I said well if you want to unbox that one um, the notes are written on there which box the for so you can keep one and wait until it comes basically um, so we'll see what happens so we'll start with something that I was aware of and that is nicely bubble wrapped and that is the Captain Phasma bobblehead pop and on the back it tells you the others and that is from Force Awakens that is cool that was really good really well detailed so that will be in the Star Wars collection we then this was one I didn't know that was coming we have Star Wars mystery mini bobbleheads and on the back is the list of characters I'll open this and I will give it to my son to look at because he's here with me um, just trying to keep him off the camera so he can have a look at this then and it's sealed it's... Right. that I think is a 1 in 12 and I think it's that one there um, can't remember what the name of them is, but I think it's that one at the bottom. And where I put my knife. <coughs> yep, that's the one. I um, don't know if it says what they are, no. But that's that one. Quite cool. Bobblehead. Somebody had a big smile on his face. Like it. It? it looks like a turtle. Yeah. It's not quite a turtle, but I can see what you mean. And if you want to take that one and put it on your table for a minute. Good boy, you can sit down. Um, another one that I wasn't expecting. Star Wars, Star Wars Rogue One Attacked, I think, yeah, Attacked, collectible 3D wood model, that is cool, I may or may not try and put it together, because I don't know how fiddly it will be, 
Um, and I sort of prefer to keep things in the packaging as well. So I may keep it in there um, for display purposes. Um, I'm not really into painting stuff and I'm not very good at any way with artwork so I may leave that as it is but I do like that, thank you very much. Bobblehead, someone's very happy he's got the bobblehead, he's sat there with a big smile on his face so thank you very much for that. Captain Phasma, he's put that on his desk and he's looking at that so he's happy with that as well. So I think the trade box that was my trade box may have turned into somebody else's trade box. Get the last items out. Yeah. Right, so we have a little envelope, well, big envelope. These are two items I did know about. have start with this one first it is a red Sonya comic um, number zero a dynamite comic that is that one saw that and I thought that would be nice to go with the one I got from Bambox that was signed by one of the artists so very happy to have that to go with the collection and this one I'm not sure which box this was from but I've seen quite a few different versions of these some this size some um, similar size to the comic, A4, I've seen um, a little bit smaller than this, I've seen 6x4 and stuff, the 8x10s and whatnot. But really, really happy to have this, because this can go in my collection with autographs, and I will be keeping this one. And it comes with a certificate, and it is... I like how he's done the signature as well. <coughs> and I can remember watching this as a kid. Um, Hellraiser films. Absolutely loved them. Not seen them in a while though. And that is Doug Bradley. Pinhead. I love the autograph how he always does the pin at the end of it. So that is really, really nice. And comes with a certificate. Again, I'm not sure which box this was from. Witnessed by a member of Iconic Ink Management. Now, I'm not sure who or what box that comes from. But I do really like that and glad to have that in the collection. So, thank you very much, Meg, for doing the trade because I really like that. Really cool trade box. Um, yours has got the items that you are aware of. I've put in a few little extra bits as well. Um, hopefully you do like those that are in there. And um, what I've also done is, there's a separate box, which is a white box, but that's not gonna get there until probably early next week. But in there is something else that I think you said you like this franchise, so I'm hoping that you will like that item. Um, I don't know how you're going to display it or what you'll do with it, but I thought you'd like it, so I'll put that in there. I look forward to watching your video. Thank you again. This is the second trade box that we've done. Um, really, really thankful for the support that you've shown and the messages that you send. Um, Probably send one every couple of weeks to each other or every couple of days just to ask how they are, ask how she is. So thank you for the support. Thank you for entering the giveaways when I've done them. Um, 
it's always good to interact um, through messages and watching your videos so everyone check out the link down below for Meg Not Mog if you're not a subscriber already go and check out her channel like comment subscribe tell her that I sent you and thank you for watching and bye for now